Unless you've been living on Mars, you've probably noticed a conflict between Islam and the West on the issue of freedom of speech. Why is there a conflict? Well, it's now firmly embedded in many Western legal systems and constitutions that we have the right to criticize and mock any position we want. Islam claims that you don't have a right to criticize or mock Muhammad because criticizing and mocking Muhammad is forbidden in Islam. So we have a disagreement here. Jihadis have been slaughtering people for making fun of Muhammad for 14 centuries. And the violence is going to continue until something changes. Either Western nations back down and outlaw criticism of Muhammad, or jihadis stop killing over criticism of Muhammad. Jihadis want a world where they can criticize and mock your religion, but you can't criticize or mock their religion. YouTube has been favoring the jihadi side for several years now, but the trust and safety team is making it more obvious than ever. Let's look at two examples from the past week. Hi, Ag-17 Apologetics. Our team has reviewed your content, and unfortunately, we think it violates our hate speech policy. We've removed the following content from YouTube. Video, Islam's free speech hypocrisy. That video is on BitChute. The link is in the description box. In the video, I quote some Muslim leaders demanding a ban on speech that offends Muslims. I then go on to point out that there's a lot of speech in Islam's most trusted sources that's offensive to non-Muslims. I then tell Muslims that if they want to ban offensive speech, they'll need to ban their own book, but that if they don't want to ban their own book, they shouldn't be calling for a ban on offensive speech. According to YouTube, exposing hypocrisy is hate speech. We know that this might be disappointing, but it's important to us that YouTube is a safe place for all. If content breaks our rules, we remove it. If you think we've made a mistake, you can appeal, and we'll take another look. Keep reading for more details. How your content violated the policy. Content glorifying or inciting violence against another person or group of people is not allowed on YouTube. Anyone ever seen or heard me glorify or incite violence against anyone? We also don't allow any content that encourages hatred of another person or group of people based on their membership in a protected group. Anyone ever heard me encourage hatred of another person or group of people based on their membership in a protected group? Some Muslims will say, yes, you criticize our prophet, that's encouraging hatred against us. And therein lies the problem. Criticizing positions is not encouraging hatred, but many Muslims view it that way. And obviously, so does YouTube. But if a Muslim criticizes or mocks Christianity, somehow that won't be encouraging hatred. YouTube is just as hypocritical as Islam. Notice the other problem here. What is this protected group YouTube refers to? The protected group is Muslims. According to YouTube, Muslims, who make up nearly a quarter of the world's population, are a protected group. Are Christians a protected group? Absolutely not. Are atheists a protected group? Absolutely not. Notice YouTube's policy. If you're a Christian or an atheist and a Muslim criticizes your views, he's totally fine because you're not a member of a protected group. But if you criticize the Muslim's views, you're guilty of hate speech because the Muslim is a member of a protected group. According to YouTube then, Muslims can criticize your views, but you can't criticize their views. Remind me, what was the goal of jihadis beheading teachers and slaughtering random people over cartoons? Terrorists are trying to create a world where they can criticize your views, but you can't criticize theirs. Whose side is YouTube on? The side of the terrorists. YouTube goes on to say that they've given me a strike for hate speech and that they've banned me from posting for a week, which is why I'm on the Apostate Prophets channel. I immediately appealed the strike. I wrote to the trust and safety team. 
The only hate speech in this video is speech I'm criticizing. I'm responding to people who are calling on Western governments to outlaw cartoons of Muhammad, and to people who think that violence is appropriate if Western governments do not outlaw cartoons of Muhammad. I point out that if they really believe that offensive speech or mockery should be banned, then their own religious texts should be banned because these texts are offensive to many people. My message is that we shouldn't ban speech simply because it offends someone, and that it's hypocritical to say, ban speech that offends me, but it's okay if my speech offends you. The fact that YouTube is banning my speech because I'm defending consistency and freedom of speech is simply amazing. Pretty straightforward. I checked back about an hour after submitting the appeal, and the appeal had already been rejected. So, if a Muslim demands laws against offensive speech, and you point out that there's offensive speech in the Quran, you are guilty of hate speech, according to the geniuses on the YouTube Trust and Safety Team. But the Trust and Safety Team never sleeps. So early this morning, I received this. Hi, Ag7 Scene Apologetics. Our team has reviewed your content, and unfortunately, we think it violates our hate speech policy. We've removed the following content from YouTube. Video, The Religion of Peace Polka, featuring keyboard jihadis. In that video, all I did was post some comments of keyboard jihadis who were threatening to kill me, along with my responses, which were totally peaceful. Here again, the video is on my BitChute channel. The link is in the description box. We know that this might be disappointing, but it's important to us that YouTube is a safe place for all then shouldn't you be banning the people who are threatening to kill me, and not me, the one who's being targeted by the jihadis and by the trust and safety team, two groups that always seem to be on the same side? If content breaks our rules, we remove it. If you think we've made a mistake, you can appeal, and we'll take another look. Keep reading for more details. How your content violated the policy. Content glorifying or inciting violence against another person or group of people is not allowed on YouTube. We also don't allow any content that encourages hatred of another person or group of people based on their membership in a protected group. So now, if a Muslim threatens to kill you on YouTube, and you point out that the Muslim just threatened you, you're guilty of glorifying or inciting violence and encouraging hate against a member of a protected group. According to the YouTube Trust and Safety Team, if a Muslim threatens to kill you, you have to keep your mouth shut about it. Because if you draw attention to the death threat, you're encouraging hatred against the Muslim. This is why I deleted my Facebook account. A keyboard jihadi would threaten to kill me. I would take a screenshot and say, hey, look at this guy threatening to kill me. And Facebook would ban me for hate speech. I got sick of it. The people running the trust and safety teams of all of the major social media platforms are stupid, evil, and insane. These stupid, evil, insane people control what billions of people can and cannot say. I think that's a bigger problem than jihad. One of the most important things we can do now is expose the bias and hypocrisy and insanity of the platforms. I'd actually love to see YouTube explain the policies it's been enforcing. Unfortunately, YouTube makes it almost impossible to contact anyone who can give you a real answer about anything. The only exception I see is the at Team YouTube page on Twitter. They do answer lots of questions that people send them. Again, my banned videos have been uploaded to BitChute. The links are in the description box. If you'd like YouTube to explain their policies, just send one of the videos to at Team YouTube and ask, why is it hate speech to point out hate speech in someone else's book? Why is it hate speech to point out hypocrisy? Why is it hate speech to inform people about death threats? Why are Muslims a protected group? What are the YouTube privileges of being in a protected group? Why is YouTube siding with terrorists? Why is YouTube protecting and enabling jihadis? 
Ask some questions like that and see if you get a response. If we can get YouTube to explain their policies, it will be much, much easier to expose the bias of the platform. Exciting times ahead.